Ravens. And it has to be the easiest region to drop bombs in, right? I guess so. So he doesn't even so he doesn't drop a mythic PY either. How many of these guys don't drop mythic PYs to have their ridiculous games? Just some random house in the middle of nowhere. He hasn't even discovered the area around this. There's a lot of these spots like this, though, that are solid. Okay. I mean, we got to... So did he just leave an auto shotgun behind? He left an auto shotgun behind to pick up a burst SMG. He'd rather no shotgun than an auto shotgun? All right, you get full shield from the... Dr you get full shield from the barrels makes sense, I guess. And then where do we go? Okay, so we're really near... Okay, we're really near Snobby. So we just probably get a bunch of loot and then rotate, rotate into Snobby stacked and then just take down whoever kills Peter or just take down Peter, I guess. I think that's the play here. Yeah, Peter's still up and you're really close to the building. This is a really good drop. Ratty as, but I like it. He's got the gray auto. Not exactly the best loadout though. It's, it's, it's good enough. It's better than what most people are going to have here at the POI, to be fair. This is pretty much what Peterbot did. Yeah, Peterbot and his like 37 kill win landed on the hill up there and then padded down and in. So this is basically the same thing, but a little bit different. So if you want to drop an almost 40 kill win, land outside Snooty and then push into Snooty. That's what we're learning. Oh. Okay. Well, we're off to a good start. Yeah. Does he take Peter down into the basement? As terrible as that sounds out of context. That is the strategy. You have to lure Peter into the basement. No. I'm just going to take him down here. Okay. No, there we go. We're going down. Chad, this is the strategy. As, as weird as it sounds. Because now you have so much more control. The only way someone can get down here now is breaking the roofs. Or pushing down through your peace control. It's the easiest way to take down Peter safely. And look at that. Boom. Dead. This is how you got to do it. If you want to be able to consistently take down Peter... All right, this, this is the kind of start I was expecting. We've still got 74 up. We've instantly got the Mythic Pump and the Medallion. Oh, oh, oh! 20 HP. I know he wins this and I'm still nervous. Woo! All right, okay. All right, we don't even go for the Vault, I guess. I mean, medkits, though. The medkits out of the vault would have been great. They're pretty much not guaranteed, but you've got two blue chests, highest chance of getting them. But vault also you get stuck in. It's a spot where people can kind of like pin you and just keep fighting. Oh, this guy wants the medallion. Oh, you. Oh no, bro. We picked the wrong time to try to get the medallion. Mouse just spun out. Wait. Spinbot macros confirmed? Leaked? On stream? Dude, the kids that were so 100% sure that Peterbot cheats in the comments of my video watching replays was amazing. All right, so the second medallion nearby too. See if we can get our hands on two medallions ASAP. Oh, 94. Oh. This player's got the medallion. This is our mythic AR. This is our end game loadout. We're going to have pretty much the best loadout we can have here. Four kills into the game. Oh, this guy is... Oh, no. This guy's actually pretty decent, too. He's playing all right angles. Don't know about that one, though. Oh, don't know about that one. Oh, I don't know about that one. Krippus, we were looking good for a bit there. Krippus, not a bad player at all. Bro, it's insane how Polarize can make like actual known people just look like complete AI. Like Krippus started pretty good and then just panicked. Just applies so much pressure. Man, so he really picks up the pace here. We've only got four kills with 44 opponents left. Oh, this is an awkward one because there's a whole bunch of pre-built walls and everything in it. This is a really awkward fight. So much to like hide behind and cheese him here. These are the most awkward fights to take. Okay, so he's sitting back on the right hand as he opens it up, though. Forces him out. Now he's in open space. You start playing a lot more aggressive. You've got to play slow until you find where they are. Dude, like... How does he know? Like, where they're going to shoot? What edit they're going to do? Like... Two steps ahead at all times. Oh, 
Oh, just misses. He's got that mythic AR, though. It's not all about the Peter Pump. Just die, man. He's so weak. This guy's going to have to go down, but... Oh, there it is. Oh, player's boxed up almost... It's like a cash box. I guess this is how most people are playing, though. I'm like, why is this guy, like, just based up sitting here? Because it's a solo victory finals. <laughs> like, it's pretty much how everyone's playing it. Oh, we're building a lot of boxes. Everybody I fight uses so many maps. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Almost edits him out. Doesn't get out. Bro, Polarizer's got to do the Martos strat. But instead of doing it in a ranked game, king until you fight someone with earnings, just do it in a tournament. You know? Surely, like, what? Like, he's already killed Krippus. I think that last guy he killed also has earnings. It'd be sick. Maybe him and Peterbot can have, like, a challenge. Who can kill more players with earnings in a single cash cup? Because apparently getting the win isn't challenging enough. We gotta like, you know, we gotta add some stakes to it. Look at all this. Oh, they're getting third party for once. Polarize not the one getting sprayed. Oh, this guy's putting up a decent fight. I've never been defensive. Bro, these players aren't bad. Like, he's not just rolling through glue eaters. Like, these guys actually know how to play and are playing well. This could have been a forty bomb if he was in an easier lobby. I'm dancing on this kid. I don't dance on anybody, and I'm dancing on this kid. <laughs> He's so triggered. This guy's solid. He has good ping too, and he doesn't fight. Oh my god, this guy's got really good ping. Dude, Polarized literally has not fluctuated off zero, and he's just he can't take his wall. Oh, nice. <laughs> you got to dance on him like he wanted. Nice. You actually deserve to be nobody ever in life. Not just in Fortnite. Literally, just, you deserve nothing in life. I'm being so serious. Whoa. I did like 40 damage, and he actually used 1,500 mats. He ran out of mats. Damn. There you go, chat. <laughs> if you try not to die in a tournament where only the win makes you money, you deserve nothing in life. <laughs> According to Polarized. <laughs> Wait till he sees how I play these tournaments. Ooh, okay. Do we only have eight kills? I say only because this is almost a 30 kill win. Really, like, that's the difference. Peterbot's game was... We had a lot more kills at this point for Peterbot's game. We got three medallions around us, though. Now's when everyone gets a little bit closer. Yeah, Polarize has played this game really well, but it's just he's fighting good opponents. So it's making every fight take so much longer. Look at them all based up. Holy crap. It's just like... It's like eight different bases on the hill. Everyone just wants to chill. Dude, if I'm the guy further up on the hill watching this, I'm just running. Just, just get away. Because you know he's going for you next. He got a really, really good lobby. Oh. oh 140. Jeez. Oh, no. Such a cheeky little angle. This guy is so confused on where he just got shot from. Told you this kid should have ran. He should have ran. He was the next target. He's just full running him down. Oh, from the top rope. Jeez, big pump. 10 kills. Dude, I didn't even realize. This is where we started watching, right, Chad? So this is where we started watching. So from here, he went on to get like, what, 20, 
28? No, sorry. Yeah. No, 18. 18 of the next kills. That's crazy, bro. Holy crap. Okay, I just want to go back and see how we got to that point. So, all right, see if Polarized can bring it home. Last game of the day, chat. I think last game of the day. And it's up to Polarized. Dropping a 20 bomb. Maybe a 30 bomb. Oh, big damage. Double Mythic, too. Double Mythic, six med kits. Jeez. I can only see one medallion in, in the uh, on the minimap, so I'm guessing Polarized has probably three, if not four. Oaks in a game, too. I kind of want to watch this, though, man. I'm not going to lie. This looks crazy. This could be the game. <laughs> he went He went for the pickaxe. He popped the shield fish. Oh, this guy's pretty... Oh, never mind. I was about to say this guy's pretty decent, but never mind. Oh, he's full just running at them. I just don't know how some of you guys think fast enough to even know, like, so many steps ahead what you're doing. Like, a lot of it is just reactionary, but still. Damn. Paul has knows when to sh slow his shots down, too. 3-5-3. Three, three. Oh? No way, that's, this is the guy he dies to after all this. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. Yo, Koopa, thanks for the raid, bro. Thank you, Andrew, with the Prime for three. Thank you, guys. Potential to beat the Peterbot record here? Surely not. He'd have to get, what, 22 of the next 24 kills. I mean, no one really kills each other in the solo victory finals. It's just you king everyone, so. Oh, damn it. Not SR3 with the raid, too. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the raids, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Polar has the confidence off the left hand. I mean, that guy didn't even leave with the shotgun, though, so. Almost a 20 bomb. Polarize is doing it. Oh, no way he survives that. That should have been it right there. That should have been the end of the run. The Peter Pump, too strong. I thought it was over. Not even full metal keeps you safe from polarized right now. Oh no, this guy is not looking too crazy. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Almost a 20 bomb with 21 opponents still standing. Oh, bro, this AR does so much damage too. Still getting in even after he's being tagged. It's these, it's these damn medallions, man. Why did Epic remove Siphon? Imagine, uh, uh, we're imagining the re they removed Siphon only because they didn't want you to be able to be this aggressive and get away with it. So they added medallions, which do the same thing, if not better, and let you just keep fighting everyone and never stop. This is worse than Siphon. Oh, 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 25 HP. The right hand peak from the spark plug with the big pump, but Polaris has the medallions going. He's already back up to 50 shield, more than 50 shield. Gets the med kit off and it's like nothing happens. It's just too strong. He's got one, three and a half, two though. We're running a little bit low on material, but I don't think material is going to be the reason we lose this game if we do. Oh, jumps in. Nice. Gets the stare. Oh my God. It's so fluid. Didn't get too many mats off that, but again, I don't think mats is what we're looking for right now. 
damn, those are the players that almost take you out. Just hits every single AR shot. Wasn't even facing Peter Bot. I mean, sorry, Polarized when he first jumped in. All the insane W keys just blend together. All right, so Peter's record still stands, even if he gets every remaining kill and wins. But we're up to 24, top 10. Can we close it out with the 30 bomb? Oh, he knows the player's coming out. 108, can't get the back wall. Doesn't matter though, he's still pushing in. He's got those med kits, so he's not too worried about taking Storm. The one helpful thing when you play like this is Storm Sickness is not going to be an issue. This game is not going on long enough where Storm Sickness will be the decider. So taking a few extra ticks here and there. Not a big deal. Gets the back walls. I think those are polarized walls. The player can't get out. He has to go in and polarize. Ready for it. Takes the wall. Hits the big shot. 26 alive. Six players left. We are reading Twitch subs in endgame. While dropping a 30 bomb in the solo victory finals. Full piece. Oh my god. Three to go for the 30 bomb. Four opponents left. We just got to watch out. We've got all the medallions. There's only one medallion left in the lobby. We got the Peter Pump. What can stop us? If anything can stop us, what will it be? Got to go underneath. Got to play a little bit slow here. Got to get that position. 32 tag. Players out of material. Polarized got more than enough to gain all the peace control down here. Player jumps down. Almost mantles in the box. Polarized hits the seal. Team six jumps in the water. Going in dark. Top three. Two more elims. Is the 30 bomb. He has to get both kills though. That's the challenge. The win's not enough. We need the 30 bomb. Heights trying to ruin it. Heights spraying down. Trying to steal the, the last kill. This means we can't play the heal off either. We need the kills. Polarized is going to want the 30 bomb. Things slowing down now. Polarized taking his time a little bit. Playing the material that he's gained. High ground still relentlessly spraying down. The player above him might be going back for the heal off early. I don't think Polarized gets the 30 bomb here. I think we're going to have to settle for the heal off win. 28 elims. We've got more than enough to win the heal off. Based on both those players' movements, they both take too much zone. Drops down the water. No heals. Goes down on the wall. The 30 bomb is off the cards. But can we get the win? Oh my God, 1v1. I can't fucking get 30, bro. <laughs> Polarized is upset that he so might bad. win this game, but not get the 30 bomb. He does win this, right? Wait, two med kits left. The train's coming. But where is the last player? He dropped out so early. He has to die to storm sickness, right? Right? There's just no way he loses this. There's no way he loses this. Twenty-eight kill win. But I mean, basically a thirty, right? Like, I mean, Storm kind of killed him because they, you know, like thirty. We're gonna call it a thirty.